See, I got the camera running here. Oh, you're going to do it now. Oh, you're going to do it now, yeah. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you ready? Oh, you're so ready. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, so, we're gonna, so the family here is, is allowing us to do a, a teaching video because uh, this is an uncommon condition, but this little uh, sweet girl ends up having rickets. There's mom over there. And mom brought her here because she seemed to be not walking just right. She was limping, dragging her leg. Three weeks ago, she was at another hospital. At the other hospital, they basically looked at the x-ray, got some x-rays because they thought she was not walking right. Is that right? And, and at that time, they said, well, it looks like she has arthritis maybe or a fluid, some effusion or something like that. And they weren't sure what it was. So then you came to the children's hospital and then we had the pediatric radiologist looking at the films and they said yeah but it looks like she's got rickets all the lab testing that we did basically confirms this the, the calcium's low 6.8 the ionized calcium is uh, 0.08 um, and so the alkaline phosphatase is elevated we're going to show some of the x-rays that she has and uh, and we're also going to do a little discussion here on on rickets there's basically two types of rickets and uh, this little one looks like it looks like she has the uh, calcipenic where the, the, we have the low calcium this is this is grandma uh, holding the baby grandma it looks like she's um, way too young to be grandma but <laughs> but we'll accept that we'll, we'll believe her but then there's phosphopenic rickets because the uh, kidneys are losing phosphorus the uh, calcipenic where the calcium's low is many times just because it's dietary we're not getting enough dietary uh, vitamin D, necessary nutrients uh, that the body requires. Now she's had no broken bones or anything like that, nothing like that. And uh, has she had issues with walking though at all? Um, the first time I took her, um, I decided to break her because she woke up that morning and she couldn't walk at all. Oh, okay. She would walk and fall. Okay. Or not even take a few steps and fall. Yeah. It's like her leg was just trying to give out on her. Yeah. And she, she fell. So I knew I had to take her yeah. to the hospital. So there is some osteomalacia, which is uh, part of the, you know, some softening of the bones, as well as the, the joint abnormalities on the x-rays, which we'll show and point out uh, in the video, too. So, all right, well, we'll, we'll not get into any more detail here because we're basically going to uh, do, do that in the video. Um, on, subsequent slides but thank you so much for letting us do this teaching video and uh, it'll help other people and um, it'll probably highlight the, the, the issue of uh, low vitamin D and um, the, the consequences of that which would be rickets which is in other countries it's much more common we just don't see it that much in America so thank you so much for letting us do this video.